He will be asked, why are you still bald? Of journaling. I feel the prettiest bald. Okay. Let's give it a big perm. I ain't got no edges of uh, perm. I feel like a plant when the sun beams on my head. I've been manifesting all my love peace fame money hell. Yeah. This is my second one, third one. Second one. And I'm almost done with it. Of journaling. And talking to God or whatever. I don't know what made me choose this this anyways. Like it was just I just picked up the first thing that I saw. I need to get a real journal though. Like a real journal. And it's some back there, but I just, I started this when I want to finish it, so. But yeah. I want to finish listening to this podcast called Mommy and Me with Brie Renee. It turned her mom on there talking about just different topics. Y'all should check it out. Anywho, of course, I'm going to make another pack of water balloons. It is currently like 100. Oh, no, it's 99. It's not 100. What was I thinking? Let me stop. But, um... I'm finna make the water balloons and have them prepared for Zuri for when she gets out of school. So she can do the last pack and we'll be done with it. I feel like it's the perfect day. Go out there and get one with your friend. And we, I ain't gotta get asked this question no more. Um, and then after that, I got some videos I wanna make. So we're gonna do that. Because Zuri will be here in literally an hour. Um, and then, um, I'm gonna do this, uh, Q&A with y'all. This Q&A. Q&A. I just be dancing. I need to stop. Let me get this stuff settled and everything. And later, I want to do my, um, feet. I want to do my nails. Sit in the little soaker thing with the bubbles and relax. Um, I was gonna say have a glass of wine, but... I drank yesterday because I was celebrating with a friend and I drank Crown and then tomorrow, like I told y'all in the last vlog, I'm going out for one of my friends who I met through my best friend. It's her birthday. So I'm sure I'm going to have a drink of two there. But the place is like 40 minutes away and I ain't really like, it ain't back in the day how I would have risked my life. I ain't trying to risk my life no more. I don't, I don't really care to get effed up and try to drive 40 minutes home. Yeah, so I'm gonna drink tomorrow and then the comedy club on Sunday. I don't I don't know if I'm gonna have a drink there. I might. I'm not even gonna hold you, but I feel like I got enough drinking opportunities coming up that sitting in the house, I don't need to drink. So, at least that's my mindset and what's coming up with my spirit. So, I'm just gonna do my feet and relax. I don't need no drink. I might eat. That might be my thing. My, my choice. My mind just snack snack mother nature is coming so i'm already pmsing and wanting everything i wanted some chick-fil-a and i was going to order it on doordash and that order went from 15 dollars to uh 27 i said yeah i ain't even that fucking i ain't even hungry bro i ain't what i'm gonna do is heat up this chicken from last night with this yeah <laughs> y'all got me up though but let me stop rambling and um do this stuff before my baby get home I just want to have it ready so that way she come in we do her homework 
I'm sure she has to read. I'm not sure if she has anything else. It will be on her laptop, Chromebook, whatever. And then it will just be set up. She can go outside, get out, go get wet. <laughs> so. I know it's really, really loud. Y'all probably can't hear me because uh, we got our AC on. But the kids, oh, they done. Damn, that was quick. It, I still got like a few more I could make. I'm probably going to just to give them, get it over with. But I'm just sitting out here writing down some things. It has holes in it, so we already know. You can't fill it up. The water's gonna come out the side. But um, let me, bring it here. Bring me the bucket. I probably, it's probably like 10 more in there that I can blow up. So I am. I'll be back. Oh my goodness, y'all. My neighbor's daughters, they're twins, and they are like the sweetest. One of them, she just was, I was walking out. I bet it blew up the second batch of uh, water balloons, and they went through the hallway door, and then the outside exit door, I was like 30 seconds behind them, and she waited until I came out and held the door open for me. And I think they're like Korean or something. And that's like, come on, come on. Because they're going to the pool. And she just was standing there waiting, looking back at the door, waiting for me. I was like, thank you, little girl. Thank you. But they're too cute. They're twins. And they're always like dressed alike in their bathing suits and their outfits. It is so freaking adorable. But anywho, I'm about to get back to uh, writing down the stuff I got to do for this week. And letting these kids have a little 15 minutes of fame because it's only about like 30 balloons or now. And yeah, then we're going in the house and figuring out dinner and all the mom things. And yeah. and see if the curls was curling and how because y'all know I'm going out tonight so I wanted to wear a short curly wig and I don't have one so I tried to create one this hot curl but I'm gonna have to slick it back her pet name slip back right so I'm just to do, finna do like a little test test error see how it's fitting or whatever 
Um, um, we're about to see what this wig is giving. I gotta take the curls out. And while I'm um while I'm doing this wig, okay, okay, Annie, look at two little curls right there. Okay, let's give it big purr. <laughs> purr. Uh, okay, I might be pleased. I might be pleased. Lord Jesus, please, I come to you heaven <laughs> humbly as you can. I don't want to do too much. I pray that it's just right. I mean, I do a little bit, but not too much. Not too much. Okay. But what was I about to tell y'all? I'm a, um, so like I, I put on my Instagram like a couple weeks ago. Like I would randomly do a, ask me a question, ask me something you want to know. You know, that love type thing. And they swear the questions are not, is anonymous. Everybody on Instagram know they ain't anonymous. I can tell who's asking me what. But anywho, I, uh, my plan was to do a video on YouTube for some of the questions I answered on Instagram. But uh, I want to answer some of the ones that I haven't here with y'all. Oh, no, that's ugly. This about to piss me off, man. I'm already irritated. Oh, crunchy, dusty. Mm, 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 mm. All right, we're going to let it be. We're going to let go and let go. So, uh, yeah. Once I'm finished taking out these curls, y'all, because it's kind of... You hear that? <laughs> yeah. Kind of crunchy. Oh, but I did put that curly product in it. We're gonna get into the question, so give me a second, y'all, and I'm gonna be right back. I promise you. Y'all, this wig ain't shit, and I ain't wearing it. But I forgot that they was turning off our water today because they're changing our building water heater. So I need to fill up as much water as I can. This wig look fucking ridiculous. I'm not wearing this one. Um, I'm actually throwing it in the garbage. But I'll be back. We're going to do the questions. Hang on. Y'all, this wig ain't shit and I ain't wearing it. But I forgot that they was turning off our water today because they're changing our building water heater. So I need to start filling up as much water as I can. This wig look fucking ridiculous. I'm not wearing this one. Um, I'm actually throwing it in the garbage. But I'll be back. We're going to do the questions. Hang on. Okay, I'm back, y'all. I don't know why I filled this bottle water with this, this, this up. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why I rushed to fill anything up. Honestly, I mean, I'm going to take a bath. I want to take a bath. But not until, like, it's getting close to me to leave to go out tonight. Um... I don't know. I just filled up a pot full of water and I filled up our teapot. Does the toilet still flush without it? Anyway. Um, I'm not putting on my wig yet. I know which wig I'm going to wear. <clears throat> it's going to be the Joker looking one. I showed you on the last vlog. I'm going to put that one on. I'm going to curl it and I'm going to make it look cute. And it's going to be that. I don't think I want to wear that little... I don't know. Y'all just going to see when we get there. But let's answer the questions that I was telling y'all about. The most, um, I guess, obvious one. People be asked, why are you still bald? Because if y'all know, you know. Shaved my head for my mama when she had ovarian cancer. And she's been in remission. She's doing well. She's doing great. It's been actual... It's been years. However... I feel the prettiest bald. I like being bald. I'm comfortable bald. Um, I ain't got no edges. Um, I feel like a plant when the sun beams on my head. I, I don't... In all honesty, I feel like you have to look at me. Which is some women you can still... Not some, but... No, I'm going to say some. Some women, you know, can have some shit. 
Let's do men. But uh, you have to look at my character. Like, it's not my physical, like, appearance. I mean, I do have nice features. But um, you, I just feel like you genuinely have to look at me. You have to look at my character. You have to look at me. You, you're forced to look at me to see if you genuinely like me as a person in any type of other relationship, whether that's friendship, like, romantic-wise. Like, you have to look at me. There's no... <laughs> I'm not hiding behind a bang, a swoop, a... Uh, you have to, you just, to me, you got to look at me. And like I said, I just genuinely feel the most beautiful I've ever felt in my life being bald. It ain't to keep walking around for all the survivors of cancer. It ain't, I like it. I like it. I get to play with wigs. I mean, I got a comment on Instagram. Like, first of all, he left it two times. I guess because the first time I didn't reply, I liked it, but I didn't reply. The second time he went back and was like, he was like, do you ever still think, because I did a reel. And it was the sound for the reel. It was like, I hope you felt beautiful today, pretty girl. I hope you felt valued. So then um, he was like, but do you still ever look at him? Do you still ever say that about yourself when you take the white girl helmet off, a.k.a. the wig? Because I had a wig on in that video. And I was like, yes, I do. <laughs> white girl helmet is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, that was crazy. However, I do, I feel the most beautiful now just because I wear wigs don't mean I want hair. Yeah, girls got hair down to their back and they still wear wigs. Like, they change their wigs religiously every day. Like, you will not see them probably like only one month consecutively out of the year you will see them with their real hair. Other than that, they got braids. Like, I'm talking about like the, you know, the cute braids. Or they got wigs. It's just... Wigs are accessories. They're fun to me. Certain outfits, I'm like, damn, that would look fire with a red wig like I tried to do with that one, but that was insane. Okay? <laughs> insane. I'm not doing that to myself. Overall, if I had to choose, I'm going to be a bald head bitch. I'm going to be up. And I get it. And it was crazy because I was on the phone with, I'm going to call him Memphis because he got that country accent. But Memphis, he sure asked me. He was like, I think you know where I'm going with this. Like when people genuinely talk to you, they probably have this question all the time. Which... Men, not really, not a lot, but people in general just do. And um, I was like, I don't know where you're going. He was like, so is, was it voluntary or involuntary? And I was like, no, my mom had cancer, whatever. Went through the whole story with him. And he was just like, you got the perfect head for it and stuff. You look good with it. He was like, well, being insane to me is like hitting it from the back and seeing your old damn head. I <laughs> said, that's insane. I said, I get it. Being a man, I get it. I'm not oblivious to fucking <laughs> certain things. But I think that's wild. I get it, bro. But, um, you'll be surprised. I've had the back of my head licked like a popsicle. Like, real freak, freak. Anyways, I enjoy being bald. It's my prerogative. I mean, if you want me to be a goddamn, um, Chia Pet, I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe just don't watch me. I mean, I'm not prolonging nothing for sympathy. I'm not doing it. It's just, I, Tajay, enjoy it. I feel beautiful. I feel the most beautiful bald. I feel unique, ball. Well, not really, because I see a lot of ball women nowadays. Like, it's giving Wakanda forever. The woman king. You feel me? Question is, if you had a warning label, what would it be? That's crazy. If I had a warning label, I was going to be toxic and say addictive, because I am. No, I'm just JK. Um... I would say, I don't know. Now I gotta look up warning labels because I wanna pick like an actual warning label. Warning choking hazard, small parts, not for children under three, biohazard. Mm. I think mine will be handled with care. <laughs> it would be handled with care or enter at own risk, not responsible for injuries, accidents of any kind. But mostly I would agree with handle with care. Please, just handle with care. That's it's pretty self-explanatory. Don't 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 come over here just doing that. Don't do that. Don't just be mishandling me and throwing me all types of sideways and crazy and up and down and around. Handle me with care. Because I feel like I handle people with care. Like I said, I am a reaction to people's actions. But if you are a good leader, I am submissive. 
and not even just like I said in romantic relationships I'm submissive to my mother my daughter my brother my sister my friends if there's any way that I can help and serve I'm humble I can swallow my pride if you need me to do this to help you with that okay cool I don't care I'm very humble I'm going to show up in the way that helps you but um yeah handle with care because I can be really good to you I really can I am having sick I'm gonna stand on that okay I might be crazy, I might talk a lot of crap, but at the heart of me, my heart posture, I am, I'm good to you, okay? Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, are you into podcasts? Yes, I am. What do I, I be watching, like, more, like, podcasts that help me reflect on me or, like, shh, help me grow. That's what I'm really into right now. Um, like, Tim, In the Basement with Tim Ross. I'm a basement dweller. It's, like, not a religion religious podcast he is a pastor well he was a pastor for many many years every now and then he goes and he you know still does sermons for certain churches and whatever but um right now he's he's just entered into the podcast world it's been like a year he just celebrated a year on his podcast and it's not about him and being a pastor it's just him and his thoughts on relationship with God him and his thoughts about church people him and his thoughts about religion and how religion and a relationship with God are two complete things like he'd be cursing and stuff people be so mad because he cursed but at the end of the day he's like this is how I talk as a real man not not your preacher but a man and like y'all in my house y'all in my house on my couch listen to my podcast this this is me you know so I like him I listen to him he he gets you thinking and stuff uh, I listen to Know For Sure with B. Simone and um, Megan Ashley. Again, self-work, self-reflection. They be having some dope people on there to interview. Um, my favorite one thus far was with Country Wayne and um, Walla. Oh, um, Fridays with Tabitha and Chance Brown. I love Tabitha because that's my business. Like, so like that. Love her. Like, I will binge watch them all day. Um, and they just be talking about like different topics, like being a parent, how they went from, you know, being toxic with each other, like, cause they got married at like 19 and they literally grew up with each other and they were like toxic and they were like, it was some like things that we, we shouldn't have came back from. Like we should have broke up, like things we did to each other, things we said to each other, certain things you say to your partner, you know, you can't repair. And they be so transparent and honest and they're like, but we, we put in the work and, um, they talk about like how to keep your marriage spicy, being a parent, um, insecurities within yourself, just uh, just a lot of topics. I love them, but I can't think about no other podcast that I'll be watching or whatever. So, uh, um, I'll be watching Crystal Renee. She is if y'all watch Sisters, she plays a Tima, the one with Zach. Yeah, love her. Oh, the skin deep. I be watching that. I be watching that. But I like to mix it up because I like to hear from men' point of view because I just do. I need to know the whole picture. I can't just hear from woman' point of view. I need to know what the hell men be thinking too. So that's that. Um, let me go back to the questions. Uh, do you enjoy your parents' company? Because I'm always like talking about my mom and all like that and how I be hanging out with them. I do. I think the I did more so in the in my early twenties because we would go out together. Like you make it past the point of being a child to like an adult to them. Like okay, you grown, figure it out. You got your own life. Okay, <laughs> figure it out. So it's not. You're not treated so childish, you feel me? So I got to be friends with my parents. So I do enjoy it. Um, for a while I did it, but that was like teenage years, you know? And I was like, y'all get on my damn nerves. I do not like y'all. I don't even wanna be here. I don't. I'm not even old, y'all. I don't like y'all. But every kid goes through that. But like I said, once you make it past that phase, like it was wild to me that some of my friends, not all of them, but like very, very few, don't have that type of relationship with their mom or, you know, they don't come from that type of like relationship where 
I'm like, damn. Me and my mom are best friends. Like, we go on trips together. It's just me and her. Like, we sit and we talk about sex. Like, we talk about, we get drunk together. We talk about a lot. You know I me? Mean? So, I enjoy it. I think the older that I'm getting and the more that I'm starting to, like, find myself, which I've been finding myself, but I like to do certain things differently than what my parents did, you know? As far as parenting, I have my own style. So, that is where I could be like, okay, nah, we ain't got that kind, babe. We don't. And then it says... How do you spend your free time? Hmm. I'm cleaning. But if it's like complete free time, like the house is clean, I ain't got nothing to do. Like, I'm not, there's nothing that's demanding my attention. What do I do? I take a nap. I'm not even playing play with you. Uh, naps are important. I can't take a long nap. I cannot because then I will be up the wee hours of night tossing and turning because I can't sleep because I'm not sleepy. My body got rest earlier in the day. But like an hour nap, baby, I'm taking a nap. I love naps. If you want to come, no, nah, I'm not inviting y'all, but you know, that's a date for real. You want to take a nap? Let's take a nap. I'm tired. Hell. <laughs> or, um, if I have downtime, I do, like, I be on, like, the recipes that I be seeing on Instagram or, like, I really don't be on TikTok like that no more, but the recipes that I be seeing on Instagram, baby, I be wanting to try how to, to cook that stuff. Like, I'm finna try it. If I got free time, I'm finna take my time and try to cook this. It's, it's different if I'm like, oh, I gotta do the mommy things. Oh, I just came from working to clean. Oh, I just, and I'm, like, rushing to try to cook something. No, I'm definitely not gonna do it. That's not free time. But if I have free time, I can just sit there. And follow the instructions to this recipe to get this dish to replicate what I'm seeing on this picture. I'm doing it. I love trying new recipes, baby. I be hungry. So, I guess that's one way. Um, introvert or a extrovert? I am... I don't know. I feel like it depends on the person who, who who's asking. You see me and might think I'm an extrovert because I was the kid in high school, like, I worked in the dean office, like, I was in the dean's office for my lunch period. You feel me? But I was cool with everybody, whether it was the football players, the, the like, oh-so-pretty girls, the, um, the, like, nerds, the kids that got bullied, like, I was cool with everybody. I was just cool. You know, but um, <clears throat> did I go out a lot during high school? No, like I never been to a juke party. I never been like to a party because I was the big sister, so I was at home babysitting type vibes. You know, so I got accustomed to being in the house. I'm like, I will sit in the house. I'm okay with being in the house. <laughs> if you want to come to my house, that's cool. You can come to my house. I'm okay though. I come to your house sometimes, but you know. <laughs> You come miles. So I feel like it's just different. Like there's times where I do feel the need to pop out and go outside just to get some fresh air, just to get away, just to, okay, I want to go and create an experience. I want to go see something. I want to go catch a vibe. I want to go outside and be around people. <laughs> but I am okay with sitting in the house. Like life is not a goddamn movie. You're not always going to have fun. It's not always, you know, exciting, thrilling. Let's go. It's not. It's not. But, uh, I just, I think it depends on the person who's asking me that question and how you view me. Because do I go out? Am I a people person? Do I adapt? Do I make friends no matter where I go? Or like, I'm okay with walking up and talking to somebody and like, you know, making conversation. Like when we leave, we ain't got to exchange numbers and stuff. But while we're here, like when you go out, you go out to mingle. You feel me? I am okay. I can adapt. I can do that. But I'm also okay with being in the house. I'm okay. You ain't got to call me every day. You know. I'm fine. I'm fine. If you seen that I post on social media, I'm still alive, right? I'm okay. So, depends on who's asking. I don't know. Um, how do you like to spend your birthday? Because my birthday is September 8th. It's coming up. Ooh, where it go? Um, I like experiences. Like, I'm not that crazy, like, 
I remember I went indoor skydiving for my birthday with Matt one year. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I went to eat at this taco place, this restaurant with my friends. Um, I just like experiences. One year I went to California and my mom and my best friend surprised me. First me and my mom flew down there and we thought, well I thought, cause she kept saying, well we're gonna fly down there and then our cousin, his wife was coming down there too cause we were going to visit family. So she said, like, we're just gonna wait at the airport for her to land. She lands to outwrap us and then we're gonna go to our cousin house. And I'm gonna go get cool. And I'm just waiting. My mom's like, well, I'm gonna go get her and she come back and it's my best friend. And I was like, y'all want me to cry so bad. <laughs> Y'all don't want me to cry so bad, but we had, that was fun. We went to California, and then we went to Mexico. We went to Tijuana. That was dope. Um, every year I go to the cemetery to see my twin sister. That's just, that's tradition, ritual. That It's our birthday. Like, what? Are you crazy? That is something I'm doing with without family. I'm going to be at that cemetery. You feel me? But, um. I just like experiences, being with the people who I feel like genuinely love me and don't mind showing up for me and don't mind coming and pouring into me. That that speaks volumes to me. The fact that you would even come to even sit here with me. And y'all know me, I'm gonna do a game night till I die. I don't care. I like playing. <laughs> Zuri probably get that from me and it get on my nerve because she played too much. But I, I like we can eat and just chill. We can go to a restaurant and just chill a vibe of good energies. And I'm okay with that. Like the experience of that. You feel me? It doesn't have to be grand. I just like having genuine people who love me and who want to show up for me. To be around me on that day. And have that type of experience. Um, I'm not big on gifts and stuff like that. Unless it's like practical gifts. Like if you see my birthday wish list. I'm laying it down below. But uh, <laughs> I got these, uh, this wall art decor. Somebody got me uh, a bed comforter because I needed another one. I only had one. And I'm like, grow up, girl. Be grown. Um, what else? The eucalyptus because, like, on the sh behind the shower, you know, that helps open you up and all that. Um, that really was because my daughter has eczema and I hear that that helps even though I manage her eczema really really well she doesn't have crazy breakouts but I'm the type to be pre-active not re reactive you feel me um like practical things I put books on there like things that I'm gonna use I don't ever want nobody to buy something like crazy and I'm gonna be like yo the thank you like I'm always appreciative thank you but I don't want you to spend your money and it's just gonna sit in my closet because most of the time in the past, that's what I've like stuff has sat in the closet, and then when I like start going through like a spring cleaning mode or like, you know, it's gonna get donated to Goodwill. Like I'm just being so for real, so I'd rather I'm just not her. I want you to be practical when you buy me stuff. Either ask me if you want it to be a surprise so bad, get a gift card. Get a gift card. That's it. But like, I love flowers. People think it's so cheesy, whatever. Flowers, but so basic. I like flowers. I don't care. But like, yeah, most my birthday, I want an experience with the people who want to show up with, for me and just love on me and chill. Really, chill. What's the next question? Would you cook or dine? I would cook. Honestly, because I like the challenge. I want to see if I can really recreate this meal. Even though I don't know what it tastes like through the damn picture. I'm going to follow the instructions and hope that it tastes great. I like that challenge. I like learning how to cook. I like that. That is, And Zuri should be wanting to help. And I be getting so kind of frustrated. You know? Because it's like, girl, get out of my way. Let me, let me, let me work. Dang. But... My baby be wanting to cook, so I be having to check myself. I really do. Because <laughs> I be like, get out the kitchen. Like, you know how your mom used to cook back in the day? You're like, all right, get out the kitchen. Like, Thanksgiving cooking. It's she in her zone. I be trying to be in my zone. And this jury be like, nah, what can I do? Girl, stir the damn water. I don't know. <laughs> but I would, I would cook. I would cook. Um... 
Have you ever disliked something then changed your mind on the same thing? Yeah, plenty of times. I can't even. It's a long list. I can't. You know how they always say never say never? That shit true. Don't never say never. Well, the internet, they be going so crazy. But didn't you just say a year? They be bringing up old tweets with celebrities. You say, ain't this her saying that she would never do it? Never say never, baby. And I'm sure y'all can pull up some shit on three vlogs ago. I said I wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> Here I am doing it. Here I am doing it. But, uh, I think it comes from not trying. Like, I never, like, skydiving. I was like, hell no. I would never go skydiving. Right? Went indoor skydiving, like I said, for my birthday party, like, three years ago, four years ago. And then, um, it was before the pandemic, actually. Went, um, skydiving for my birthday. Indoor skydiving. And then, like, two years later, I was like, I want to go skydiving. And I went by myself and I jumped out of a plane. Like, my friends, nobody went with me. I went, and my mom, nobody. I went and I got on that plane and I jumped. I jumped, bro. Like, jump. So, I just don't know. Yeah. I think until you try it, you can't say you don't like something. And we'd be famous for doing that. Like, I'd be like, yeah, no, nah, that's just, it just don't look like I would like it. It just don't look like that. That'd be the type of person that, like, I would move like that. It don't look like I could do something like that. Like, you know? But, what else? Like, for real, for real. Something I disliked and then changed my mind on the same. My bad, y'all thought I heard somebody. I need to take this wig cup off. But, um, I guess, yeah, like, transparent, like, when I was younger, all the women... And my family, I seen growing up, like, I don't know what to call it. I don't, I want to, I don't want to call it passive aggressive because they would speak up, but they still stayed in relationships that I felt like no longer served them. And um, I was always like, yeah, no, that would never be me. It would never be me. Grow up, <laughs> you're like, damn, I give them grace, honestly, completely transparent. I give them grace because as women, we are emotional creatures. Period. Point blank. I get that now. Jesus, I get it. Whew. Learn to control y'all emotions and become emotionally intelligent. If you didn't grow up with it, please go out there and seek it. It would, it would change your life, baby. Anywho. Um, yeah, and I was just like, yeah, no, I would never. That was something I disliked. And when I grew up and I got into a relationship, I can't say I stayed. I didn't stay as long as they say. Not to, I'm still not going. I ain't talk crazy about y'all. I ain't. But, um... Yeah, it just didn't feel good. And I'm, I'm baby, if I, if I really went and dived into the story, y'all would know. I, I got the hell on, okay? And how I did it, I'm, I don't care. I stand on it because I meant it in that moment. Could I have done it better looking back? Yes, I could have. But I stand on it because that's how I felt. And so, yeah, that was something like I disliked growing up and seeing that. And like I said, I was the only girl in my cut my generation of cousins so i could have took that and internalized that really bad and be like okay well this is love you know it don't got to be reciprocated and i can keep pouring it to you you not you know respect me or pour into me how i pour into you or like give your all how i'm giving my all you feel me i could have really internalized that internalized that real bad like in every single relationship but it was only one relationship and i was like yeah you got me effed up bro but um I just feel like, yeah, that was something I disliked and I not consciously, subconsciously changed my mind. I still dislike it because get somebody else to do it. You're not finna, I'm not finna, I can love you and not be loyal to you. Not, and I'm not talking about cheating and stuff like that. I'm just saying, like, I can love you and not be with you, my guy. Because you you don't even want to be with me like that. You don't even fuck with me like that. You don't even want to pour into me like that. You don't want to you don't want to stand with me. You don't want to do nothing with me full throttle the way I want to do everything with you full throttle. I, it ain't no gray area type shit. Like especially like I said, I, I'm I'm how I love how I'm going to get. I can't shrink my shit just to. But I don't understand. What do we? I can't do that. So I can love you and not be loyal to you. I can't. It's just get somebody else to do. So I guess that's something that I dislike too. And kind of changed my mind on. So consciously, consciously. Like I said, get somebody else to do it because I ain't doing it no more. I can't. 
it at that time and I said, yeah, y'all can go to hell. I'm making my own rules now. <laughs> Everybody seems to be making their rules out here. I'm going to make mine. Okay? So, that was something, but... Mm-hmm. Nah. But it's just being transparent and being real. You know, that's what we do over here. We keeps it real, honey. Good, bad, ugly, bald head. Mm-hmm. There's one more that says, which movie always makes you sad and which one makes you happy? Um... I have an eight-year-old, so what is that movie? Inside Out. I love that movie. Um, I don't know. It makes me happy and sad. Riley went through a lot, okay? Um, I can't think because I'm not good at remembering movies. I am that girl. I don't, and then on top of that, I haven't seen a lot of movies. I have not. I have not. Y'all probably will revoke my black card. I'm just. Let me. Okay, so I kind of grew. I grew up with a bootleg man, right? In the house, right? I got tired of fucking movies being on the TV, right? I got tired of it. I ain't. I don't. I don't want to watch no more damn movies. Okay, it's just like get cable, bruh. Like I don't want to keep watching them. I don't. I don't. I think I, I'm traumatized from it. Certain movies, yeah, I go to the movies sometimes, you know, but I just, I don't, I don't really be caring. I don't. <laughs> no, it's just me being for real, y'all. I can't remember a lot of movies. It's so many damn movies in the world, okay? Hell. I don't remember. I don't. I can't remember and watch. I'm going to watch a movie. Oh, this is my favorite movie. I've always loved this movie every time. Girl. I don't remember. I can't. Thinking off the top of doing questions, q and right here, like boom, boom, boom. I can't remember what movie makes me sad. All I know is Inside Out is a good movie. If you ain't ever watched it on Disney, you should. I think it's Pixel. Pixel. Yeah, I don't know. But, um, y'all, that's it for the questions. That's it for the questions. Y'all comment down below how y'all feel. Like, what's, you know, can y'all relate? Yeah. I'm finna try to, uh, y'all gonna see me get dressed and stuff for the next vlog because I'm finna start a new vlog for this weekend. I'm going out tonight and all that stuff. How long is the water gonna be off? Is it off? Woo! Okay. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna see y'all in another uh, episode of this year. Uh,